Tippett Hall is a beautiful Georgian-style mansion reminiscent of a southern plantation. The 19-room colonial-style structure was built by the late Mr. and Mrs. William Hall Tippett in 1938 to the designs of architect Robert Farquhar of Pasadena. The house is situated on a large acreage with rolling lawns, tall pine trees, and magnolias. But the big surprise to the visitor is to find this tranquil southern setting located on a cliff overlooking the beautiful Pacific Ocean. This is what makes Tippett Hall so unique and why it is one of the most sought after properties in California. When Mr. and Mrs. Tippett bought the property for Tippett Hall, it was a dramatic but windswept clifftop, barren of anything but the most limited natural growth. Today, the property is a pastoral setting. With the 10,000 square foot Tippett Hall sitting among five and a half acres of landscaped gardens and hundreds of trees. Long vistas to the ocean are framed with pine trees and palm trees and were brought in from Presidio Park in San Diego, which marked the earliest Spanish settlement in California. A fact which means the trees are as old as California itself. Tippett Hall is located in Del Mar, California a small coastal city located 18 miles north of downtown San Diego. The picturesque community of Del Mar has a population of about 6,000 residents and is known for its beautiful beaches and exclusive homes. The nearby village of Del Mar is a favorite for both locals and tourists. It is also home to some of San Diego's best restaurants and shops. Torrey Pines State Beach and Reserve is located five minutes to the south. The San Diego Reserve is located to the east and in between is the famous Del Mar Racetrack and the historical Route 101, also known as the Pacific Coast Highway. A private street leads to the home's entrance where visitors are greeted by a majestic gated entry framed by specimen evergreens. Neatly manicured box hedges that run the length of the driveway are found throughout the property and also help shield the home's front yard for privacy. A large three-car garage sits at the end of the driveway, and two parking aprons allow for plenty of parking for guests' cars, RVs, and additional vehicles. The eight-bedroom, six-and-a-half bath Tippett Hall is the perfect home for all types of entertaining. The pool area is enclosed by colonnades and flowering plants. Circular structures situated on the south corners of the pool area house dressing rooms, showers, and a bar kitchen combination. A little cleaning and you're ready for year-round entertaining. Another great spot for entertaining guests is the grotto. The large patio area sits high above the beach allowing for both spectacular ocean views and total privacy. The built-in fireplace is also a nice feature, especially useful on cooler evenings. At the top of the grotto sits not the guest house, but a pair of changing rooms. Did you expect anything less? The climate of Del Mar is said to be one of the most favorable in the world for growing flowers, and it's compared to the French Riviera, which is the perfume center of France. In addition to the climate, years of devoted care and planning have made the grounds of Tibbet Hall a thing of outstanding natural beauty. Rose lovers will absolutely enjoy the formal garden. It features a variety of rose bushes and once had a pond complete with lily pads. Pathways from the Rose Garden lead to informal gardens, a small orchard of fruit trees and woodland trails. Inside the plantation-style mansion are more surprises. The solarium is made up of large glass panes that allow in plenty of natural light, keeping the area bright and sunny for most of the day. The main entry room is quite large. Even with a baby grand piano in the corner, there is still plenty of room for other furniture. The entry room houses the formal stairway and is conveniently located to all main rooms. The large kitchen shows a lot of use and features a double oven, a warming drawer, and built-in freezers. There's also a center island with tile counter and an adjacent butler's pantry with mahogany countertops. 
The formal breakfast room, like other formal rooms, features a European glass chandelier and two large glass windows overlooking the grounds. The dining room's main attraction is the antique Zuber scenic wallpaper. Entitled El Dorado, it depicts the seven wonders of the world. The focal point of the living room is the pedimented fireplace wall and its shell carving and marble mantel. A pair of Venetian amber glass chandeliers hang from above. As in the living room, the card room also features a hand-carved marble fireplace. Sunlight passing through Italian silk draperies helps keep this room bright during the day, but the evenings are best illuminated by this beautiful European crystal chandelier. The family room separates the guest bedrooms from the rest of the house. It features a separate office and also separate entrances to the pool area and solarium. With eight bedrooms and six and a half bathrooms, there's plenty of space for the largest families and guests. The bottom floor features two guest bedrooms and the guest bathroom that sits between the two bedrooms. Guest bedrooms are roomy and private and have their own private entrances through the solarium. Former FBI director J. Edgar Hoover was a frequent guest at Tippett Hall. Located between the entry room and family room is a half bathroom. Although it doesn't feature a shower or tub, it's conveniently located to all the main rooms. Tippett Hall was built with servants' quarters. The rooms are small and pale in comparison to the other bedrooms in the house. There's one bedroom with its own bath on the first floor and two bedrooms on the second floor, which are accessible through the rear staircase. These two bedrooms share a bathroom, however, they do have their own built-in sinks. The second level of Tippett Hall also consists of two master bedroom suites. Each suite has its own master bathroom and also a shared bathroom. A smaller bedroom and walk-in closet are located at the end of the hallway. Access to the second level is via this beautiful half-circular staircase, which leads to a large landing at the top. The landing is quite large and gives direct access to the master suites and the hallway which leads to the master bathroom and second bedroom. The master bath features a large dressing room and gorgeous marble flooring. Closet doors are hand painted and there is no shortage of closet space. The bedroom at the end of the hall is bright and airy and overlooks the pool and rose garden. The master bedrooms are very large. This is the larger of the two master bedroom suites. It features a marble fireplace, direct access to two master bathrooms, and a view deck that offers unmatched views of the grounds and Pacific Ocean. The second master suite is also quite large. It also has direct access to two bathrooms and its own view deck. The shared master bath was way ahead of its time and features dual showers and a step out deck that overlooks the piazza. Like the solarium, the piazza is a glass-enclosed gallery with windows stretching from the ground to the top of the second floor. The windows are impressive from close and afar and allow year-round enjoyment of the area regardless of the ocean breezes. Also included in this property is the two-bedroom, two-bathroom guest house. It has a small front patio with fruit trees surrounding the front yard for its own privacy. To the rear is a two-car garage and a large parking area. There's also plenty of storage and direct access to the private street. For more information on this property, please contact Mr. Jim Seacamp.